So today we will talk about strategy. Um, I've been dealing with strategy for the last six years uh, intensively on a corporate level. And it's also a favorite stuff that is really complex. It has many subjects, it has many uh, topics and parts. And it deals with paradoxes. And that is really the core and the essence of strategy. And that is why it is difficult to comprehend. And that's also why it's difficult to happen on different levels. So next to being six different parts, you also have to um, take into consideration at what level you are talking about strategy. So you can have the really top level, which is corporate level, are we going to partner with them to do two opposite things. You have to increase quality and decrease cost. You have to increase local respons responsiveness, the local organization to the local market, and at the same time, you have to increase synergy, meaning are we then looking at ourselves and determine where do I go with my company and my skills and find the market for my tools and then skills and products, or do I look at the market and then change the company, the structure, the skills, the processes, the marketing mix accordingly to maximize the profit and after the inside out and outside in dilemma was competition versus cooperation. And, and that seems to be more of the theme in the 2000 of the first part. It's all an execution. Now, there's a Japanese proverb that says, uh, a plan without action is a daydream. Action without plan different types. There's the prescriptive one and the descriptive one. So, know that none of these by themselves in singularity will be the solution to your problem, whatever problem you have. I have my five forces and my strategy to justify whether or not you should go into this market. And I found the checklist that he has given in his book is quite good. What marketing is all about. It's generating a premium value for the customer. But you have to justify this value. Customization parts of the value chain, and the other one shows the cost parts of the value chain. So, what is driving my costs? Warehousing, say it's a marketing department. And Mitzburg basically said something that is now obvious to everybody, but it was not obvious at that point in time. Uh, uh, we are not machines, a company is not a machine, we don't put input in one, two, one, two, and something comes out. Executed because most people or most uh, companies are quick to say, Yeah, I have a core competence, I have a core competence in customer service, in product design, and in supply chain, and in production. And it's really difficult for a company from an internal perspective to be honest and then to realize, Do I have a core competence or not? So you can look at this three, four test, certain level of excellence and all, but once you pass this line, you have to sacrifice the other two. You cannot be the customer and suppliers as partners. You cannot just work against each other and, and exploit each other. Leave you with a, a puzzle here. I show you how you do it. You do four things. You eliminate what other people say it's given. You reduce to save cost. Listen to the market. Listen to your suppliers. Distributors, customers, you need to involve people early on if you want them to be part of something. Strategy is not the job of the CEO. You yeah, need to involve the crazy of how do I discuss strategy, what does it contain, on what levels, what are some of the ideas and the thoughts, what are the 